YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to feature some good news and some not so good news, and I may break it up and give you some good, then some bad, and then some good again to end things out on a positive note. But what I want to talk about today is quality control, and it's going to span across jewelry and handbags and feature the brands Sophia Fiore, Saint Laurent, and Louis Vuitton. And so let's start with jewelry because I just have one quick thing to show you, and that is the new diamond in my ring. If you haven't caught the video where I was showing my collection and discovered that my center stone in my ring was missing, then I will pop that link down in my description box, as well as many other interesting things. So you should go down there and check out my box. But what happened is I was in the middle of doing the video and realized that my diamond, which is the second largest diamond that I own, was gone. And I was pretty upset about it. I looked everywhere. I filed an insurance claim relatively quickly because I just couldn't stand to not have a diamond in this ring. And so, do 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 do, I got the new diamond installed and it is fabulous. It's actually on my hand right now. I know the suspense is killing you, but let me tell you that the reason why the diamond fell out in the first place was because of poor prongs. The prongs were not very sturdy and I didn't know that, but it was the way it was made and it had three prongs on this center stone and one of the prongs got snagged on something, and once that prong was gone, then the diamond was gone as well. So the stone that I had in my ring, I'm gonna put a picture of it here as I talk, was a 0.76 carat pear stone that was pretty wide across the top of the stone. It wasn't very deep, so it presented as closer to a one carat stone, and it had a yellow tone to it. And so when I went to replace it, I called my local jeweler. They had a stone that had just come in for trade that was a little over a carat. And this stone wasn't quite as clear as the one I had. It had some feathering in the outer parts of the stone, not in the center, but the outer parts, but they are pretty indiscernible. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you now. This is my new diamond in the center of the ring where I lost the stone. And I'll go ahead and put a picture as I talk about it just a little more. So I guess the clarity wasn't quite as good, but close, but the quality of the cut and the color were much better. So I definitely think I traded up and the stone fit my ring. And if I had to have a stone custom cut for this ring, it would be more expensive than what I paid. So it worked out in the end and I'm super excited about my new diamond in my ring. I wish I could get it to come across just a little better than it is, but it is stunning. It has a lot of fire to it, and the center part has now five prongs instead of three, and they're very substantial. The next part of the video, we're going to talk about Saint Laurent and Louis Vuitton. And I thought I would do Louis Vuitton next because it's the bad news. It may turn into good news, but for now it's bad news. And I think it's bad news no matter what, because I don't think I'm gonna keep this bag if I'm able to return or exchange it. So I went ahead and put it back in the box because online sources say that you wanna have it in all of its original packaging. I unboxed this bag with you less than a month ago. It is the Louis Vuitton Passy bag. And I probably carried it anywhere between probably six or seven or eight times. And so that's a lot because I really, really like the style of the bag. I love the longer leather bit to go over your shoulder and avoid, you know, shoulder discomfort. I like to wear it doubled up with the chain and the shoulder strap. And I figured out how to organize the insides where it doesn't tip over. I have an organizer from Green Tag Inserts that actually fit that was designed for the pillow Madison and I was able to weight it so where I had no issues and could even use the front pocket. But today I was shopping online for another bag in this style because I like it so much. And in fact, there's a Vavin bag in Damier Ben on the Louis Vuitton website. I'll put a picture as I'm talking. And it is very much like this in terms of how it is structured. It has this front pocket. It's got 
you know, the compartment and it just looks very similar to this bag. So I was examining this bag in the process of shopping for another bag kind of like it. And I discovered that we have a crack and it's right there. And this is the feared cracking point for Louis Vuitton canvas pieces. You can see as I open it, it spreads and it's not a huge crack, but that's gonna go ahead and probably crack all the way through. And like I said, I've used this bag maybe six or seven times. I still have the sticker on the plate. It is in essentially perfect condition other than some scratches on the inside parts like here and here from where it slaps itself closed and it's already cracking. And this bag costs $2,570, which is insanity to pay for a mostly canvas handbag with a crack in the first 29 days of being in my possession. I actually purchased this on the 6th of January, but I didn't receive it until the 16th of January. So I'm right at 29 days of having it in my possession, and I'm hoping that they will they will be kind and let me pick out something different or just refund my money because I think this is going to happen with all the passy bags. I really, really hope it doesn't, but the fact that the glazing looked good when I got it and now it's already developed this crack is very, very disturbing to me and I just hate it because I don't want a bag with cracks because the canvas will crack if I don't get this repaired and I don't want to send it off for three months when I just got it to get it repaired. So that's the disappointing bad news. Boo, Louis Vuitton, fix your glazing or design the bag differently. I don't know, make this part, make it like rolled canvas. I don't know how you can fix it, but you gotta fix it, okay? I mean, you can't send out bags that are gonna crack in less than a month and charge over $2,000 for them. That is just not right. So moving on to some good news, the bag that I'm gonna show you now is my Saint Laurent Lou camera bag. And I love this bag. I did a video on this bag and my dusty gray version, which is essentially a taupe with the bronze hardware. And I showed you that the cracking on the taupe version was worse than the cracking on this one because the taupe version essentially had no glazing left around these rings at all and was cracking right here. I was able to fix this one with a little bit of E6000 glue which if it doesn't work for you, you can pick that off with some tweezers. And I also just put a tiny little bit of glazing and black over the top. It's not a perfect job, but it's pretty darn good. And I don't have to send my bag in and have it be gone for months. The other bag, I, I couldn't even attempt to match the color of the glazing because the color of the glazing matched the bag itself. And I'll put a picture as I'm talking here, but I went ahead and I sent it in to, I think the Nashville store and they sent it to be assessed, determined that they could fix it. I've owned it for four years and the charge for fixing it involved replacing this leather portion completely. And it was only $55 to replace both sides. And I was, flabbergasted. So that's fabulous news. Now I may not have that bag for a very long time because repairs take a very long time, but the fact that they're able to fix it like that, it makes me so happy. And I don't know if you recall this, but I could not find the receipt for that bag and they need a receipt to be able to work on your bag, but I did locate it. I had purchased it through Orchard Mile. It had come directly from St. Laurent, but Orchard Mile was working in collaboration with St. Laurent and I was able to get a discount on that bag by buying it through Orchard Mile. I think those discounts have went away with that website now, but you know, take advantage of these things while they happen or when they're happening. And that's what I did. So I was able to print out a receipt or screenshot a receipt that I sent in with the bag to the Nashville store and that was all they needed. They didn't need me to buy it from them to work on it. They just needed a receipt from an authorized retailer to be able to work on the bag. So I now want to make sure I have that receipt 
in as many occasions as possible. I don't know how well it would work if the bag was in somebody else's name. Like for example, when I buy from Jessa Lux on Instagram or Jessa Closet on Facebook, I oftentimes get the receipt for Matches Fashion, but it has her name on it. So I don't know if that would work if you needed repair, but I think she would help me out if I did need repair, she would help me with that because she's just very good with customer service. But I am just super pleased to tell you that for $55, they're fixing my dusty gray bag to be like new because my bags are pretty much all like new. And so it will be restored back to its original glory. Yay! So that is the good news, bad news, good news. And later on today, when the store I bought the Louis Vuitton Passy from in California opens up, I will be calling them or texting them and finding out what can be done because I'm technically within the 30 day window. And if I have to pick out another bag at Louis Vuitton, I have a few choices in mind, although I'm kind of torn. I don't know exactly what I will do, but if they'll give me a refund, I'm kind of torn too, because I might go a completely different route in terms of what brand I pick and what materials I pick for that matter. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.